Donald Trump, I hear Penn Jillette's, uh show on Broadway is terrible. Not true. Uh, not surprised. Boring guy. Boring guy, Penn. Without The Apprentice show would have died long ago. Penn <laughs> Gillette is, is far from he, boring. Trump's no. a little delusional. I think he realized he fucked up with El Chapo, so he's going after somebody who won't hunt him down and burn him alive. <laughs> uh, there, is, there is a very good reason for that. Uh, yes, no, what let happened me, let, you and him? Wait, wait, let me read the other tweet, and then let's uh, get, yeah. To, yeah, get to that. I loved firing goofball atheist Penn, Penn Gillette on The Apprentice. He never had a chance. Wrote letter to me begging for forgiveness. That's what Trump is saying. Uh, oh, wow, only a half hour ago. <laughs> what happened? He, I, did, I hadn't seen the last he one. He calls this show. I mean, maybe we could, like, uh, you know, uh, figure this out between you two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the answer is very, very, very simple, which is uh, I've been asked a lot about his run for president. And I have said that, you know, um, what I feel about Donald Trump, who I really like, and it's very, very clear that of all the people who have been on Apprentice, I am the one who likes him the most. Uh, the stuff that people say about him that were on the show is just pure hate. And I really liked him. And actually, his son asked me, why do you like him so much? And I, because he was surprised, because, um, you know, he, he can be unlikable. Yeah. <laughs> but I really am very fond of him. And still, with what you read, <laughs> kind of makes me like him more. Okay. Um, Has it hurt your feelings at all? Uh, sure. But I also like him. You know, you can have people that don't like you. That, and I also, also think he does like me. But, um... Uh, Thelonious Monk, you know, the great uh, jazz piano player, said, and it's not a well-known quotation, but I love it. He said, the genius is the one who is most like himself. And that's what I love about Bob Dylan, Lenny Bruce, Tiny Tim. They were completely like themselves. And Trump, for better or worse, is in that category. I have talked one-on-one -on -one with Bob Dylan, and I've talked one-on-one -on -one with Trump, and they do not have filters. They speak honestly and from the heart. Unfortunately, when you move into the political arena, when you're speaking from the heart, if your heart has some really dark, wrong areas, and that comes out too, that becomes very, very unpleasant. Mm -hmm. When someone who's a comic says something about immigrants in this country, uh, it, it's in the category of a, of a, of a, of a character it's in the category of context. But when a person who is telling us, we, we don't know how seriously he's really taking it, but let's pretend he's taking it. Let's give him the respect mm. saying he's taking it seriously. When he says that what I'm saying is going to have some policies, um, uh, implications, then all of a sudden we have to be our better selves. Uh, it is perfectly okay for you to be personally a little uncomfortable with certain immigrants. Mm. It is not okay for our country to be that way. So if you say that to your friends or in a context of a radio show or just speaking, I will defend that. But if you say, now I'm going to take these prejudices that I have and say them in your name in the international arena, I've got to go, oh, oh baby. <laughs> you know, we, if you're going to be our spokesman, yeah. you've got to be better than you are personally. You've got to be better. And Trump... The very pettiness and the very honesty that I respect him for so much, if you're going to be president, we can't have that. You know, we're sure, we are absolutely positive that George Washington was a miserable prick. <laughs> but when he spoke, he spoke for all of us with a great conscience. And I'm not sure you want uh, a president who's taking shots at a carny performer. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You, don't, you didn't have... It's very clear that on some of the issues, Donald Trump hasn't done enough homework. He's not a stupid man. But there's a lot of homework to do. <laughs> you know, if you're running for president, every moment you're not speaking, you've got to be reading. Mm -hmm. And you've got to be reading everything. Educating and, yourself. Yeah, you've got to know everything. And also, when you go out there, you've got to be uh, the best of us. And I, I mean that on everything. I mean, it's the way I feel about capital punishment. People say all the time... Um, but if your family, these monsters, don't you feel like they should be put to death? And the answer is, of course I feel that. But as a society, as a culture, we want to be better. You know, what we want out of the United States of America is we want to be better than we are individually. I want to be proud of our country because our country is better than me. You know, I don't want the guy that I'm going to have a beer with. He's just like me. If the guy's just like me, don't be fucking president. 
Right. You know, and I can talk to Donald Trump really comfortably. He's uh, he's really smart. He has a lot of interesting things to say. But I want somebody that's one notch up for president. I want a guy that I go, man, 